Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do advanced label stylization or advanced label editing, which is a newly added feature. So first off, we're going to be in the layer editor and we're going to go to our styles tab, scroll down to labels, and then we know from the past that you can choose your attribute to edit on. In this case, we're looking at just the names of these subway lines in New York. You can change the text size as well as the color and change the font. Um, and then we can also set minimum and maximum zoom. But what we just added is this show more button, which expands to several different edits that we can um, add. So for example, we can set a pitch alignment. So what that means is that if we wanted to be able to always view those labels from whatever angle we're at, we can choose a viewport as the alignment. And so that way, if we tilt the map, we can still see those labels. And in addition, if we wanted to rotate the map and we want the rotation alignment to be set to the viewport, that way we can see these labels from whatever angle we're looking at as well. So in addition, we can set the line height. So say we have labels that go on to the next line. Um, we can choose what that height for the next line will be. And we can also choose um, a size for letter spacing on the labels. Also, we can choose um, between left, center, and right for text justification, as well as set where the anchor is going to be located in reference to the label. So we can have the labels going from the top left or the top right, bottom right, bottom left, etc. And in addition, we can translate that anchor with X or Y values. Also, we can set maximum angles. So say we only want our angle to be 30 that we can maximum go to. We can set that as well as we can set rotation values. Um, and that will allow us to only rotate a certain amount. And we can also add padding as well as other options such as transform. Transform allows you to choose them to be all uppercase or all lowercase. And then we can also set X and Y offsets for the labels themselves and allow for overlap or ignore placement. So allowing for overlap obviously just means that the labels can intersect and overlap. And ignoring placement means that if you have that selected, that whatever labels are beneath them that are connected to the base map, those will be able to still show through. And then of course, if we want to add a halo to our labels, we can choose the color for that label, uh, labels halo, and then choose the width as well as the blur if we want to apply that. And then lastly, we can choose um, symbol placement, so between point, line, and line center, and then also edit symbol spacing. And that's everything. Thanks for listening.